Hi, for this video we are going to do a quick review of the HTH 6-way test kit. This is going to test your total chlorine, bromine, total alkalinity, total hardness, pH, and cyanuric acid. As you can see, this, this will actually test the total chlorine or bromine. So this is actually a 5-way test kit. But the reason I want this thing is because this is the cheapest I've found that will also test for cyanuric acid. So let's open it up. So it comes with a paper manual. Okay, so if you want to keep this, make sure that you take a picture of this because paper and water doesn't really go together. It comes with the chlorine tester. Also have the penal red for your pH. Have a cyanuric acid reagent. Then you have the alkalinity indicator and alkalinity titrant. It also comes with the hardness indicator and the hardness titrant. You also have this container to test your chlorine and or bromine and your pH and you have this vial to test for your alkalinity and your hardness and then it comes with this too with this container plus this um, test tube and if you look at the test tube, it has a black dot in it. So that's how you will measure your cyanuric acid. Each bottle comes with a 22 ml liquid reagent in it. And you notice each bottle only asks you to do uh, 5 drops. For the chlorine and bromine and the pH test, you should be able to do a total of 88 tests because each bottle comes with a 22 ml and according to the liquid conversion you should be able to have 20 drops per ml so 20 drops times 22 ml that's going to be 440 divide by 5 drops per test that's going to be 88 tests for cyanuric acid you need to fill this up up to the 7 ml line and then you need to fill it up with your pool water so this thing have 22 ml so if you do it right if you don't waste anything you should be able to do three tests of cyanuric acid now for the alkalinity as well as your hardness test that will all depend on the quality of your water so you can see here it requires you to have five drops of the indicator plus you need to do a drop by drop for the titrant so the same thing for the hardness indicator for this you're gonna use this tube that comes with it what you do is you fill this up to 25 ml add five drops of the indicator and then you will have to do one drop at a time so when you put the alkalinity indicator this should turn green then you have to add this one at a time and shake it you have to count how many time how many drops you add until it turns red after that you have to multiply it by 10 the same thing with the hardness indicator when you first add this it should turn blue if you have any hardness in your water so you have to add five drops and then you need to add the titrant one at a time so every time you put a drop in it you shake it drop shake and after that you have to multiply it by tens so even if the indicator can do 88 tests you are always limited to the number of uh, drop that you use for the titrant and right now I don't see any uh, 
refill um, reagent that uh, HTH is selling. They always sell this by the kit. So this is everything that comes in the package. You'll get your user manual. You have the little container that comes with it. You're going to get your test tubes and your reagents to test your chlorine, bromine, and your pH. You'll have the tube to test your alkalinity and hardness indicator. And you'll also have the, the tube and the container to test your cyanuric acid. If you haven't done so, please click on the subscribe button below. I'm going to be doing an actual t test using this test kit and uh, create another video for it.